this just in, a journalist from Mexico claiming that there's there's a good source that Canelo and um, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. are in negotiations. Eduardo Lamazon sent that tweet out yesterday, and um, there's not a lot of outlets covering this in English. I, this article is in Spanish, so hey, that's a good advantage to speak in Spanish. I was able to read the article, and I guess I'm one of the first ones to bring this to you. And, you know, I believe this, you know, if we if we, if we take things in, into perspective, you know, I believe um, Golden Boy's objective was to fight Lemieux and then fight Billy Joe Saunders in May and then take on Triple G. But since Billy Joe Saunders gave out a horrible performance in his last fight, you know, Oscar De La Hoya was talking about how the offer no longer stands and they're cutting the offer in half. And if you if you take things in consideration, Billy Joe Saunders has to fulfill two mandatories. He has to fight two mandatories. So I don't think that the the fight with Canelo is going to take place in 2017. With that being said, I feel like this fight is a very possible fight, and and it's a fight that makes a lot of economical sense. You know, this fight it's it's a big fight in boxing. We got two Mexican stars clashing. You know, we got Julio Cesar Chavez, the junior, to the legend Julio Cesar Chavez Senior. You know, that's a great fight. They've been talking about this fight for the longest. I didn't think we were gonna. You know, I don't know if we're gonna get this fight, but I don't think this was gonna happen. If it does happen, I don't think it was gonna happen this early. I thought it was. I thought it was gonna happen maybe in two or three years. But it makes sense, you know, Julio Chavez Jr. was also claiming he could still make 160, and if he makes the, the if he makes the weight for his upcoming fight and he does good, and, you know, if he says he can make 160 or maybe even a catch weight of 164, 163, you know, they can probably make that fight, and it's a great fight to get Canelo to accommodate to the 160-pound weight division. And even if it's a, at a catch weight of 164, you know, and that's even more to his credit because he's fighting a pretty big guy. Julio Chavez Jr. is a big guy. Of course, I'd be fi- I'd be favoring Canelo though, because Canelo he's been in there with better competition, and he I feel like he prepares himself better, you know. And I don't think Julio Ch- Cesar Chavez Jr. has that much motivation to be in a high stake battle with a Canelo Alvarez. But with that being said, I really hope we get this fight. This is a big fight for boxing, and this is a fight that will validate Canelo's power and validate Canelo's skill, because you know there's a lot of speculation going around about Canelo, you know. Fighting smaller people all the time, but you know they they seem to forget he fought Angulo who wasn't smaller, and um Kirkland who wasn't smaller. You know he never really uses his size. You know it's just he happens to be to 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 rehydrate to a bigger weight. I mean that's just something anybody can do. I mean they they choose not to do it, so that's the, that's that's on them. But you know that that option won't be on the table for this one. If anything, who's just Chavez Jr. will be even bigger than Canelo. So let me let me know what you guys think. If if you guys think this is true or not, let me know. But I mean, he's a very credible journalist, and I believe it's true. I mean, Chavez Jr. has been calling out Canelo for a while. Canelo doesn't fear no man. I think this is a very this is a very realistic option. And let me know if you guys want to see this fight. This is boxing. I'm out.